Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to create a mandatory user profile for Active Directory user accounts with Windows Server 2022. A mandatory user profile is a roaming user profile that has been pre-configured by an administrator to specify settings for users. Settings commonly defined in a mandatory profile include icons that appears on the desktop, desktop backgrounds, user preferences and control panel, printer selections and more. Configuration changes made during a user's session that are normally saved to a roaming user profile aren't saved when a mandatory user profile is assigned. Mandatory user profiles are useful when standardization is important, such as on a kiosk device or in educational settings. Only system administrators can make changes to mandatory user profiles. When the server that stores the mandatory profile is unavailable, such as when the user isn't connected to the corporate network, users with mandatory profile can sign in with a locally cached copy of the mandatory profile if one exists, otherwise the user is signed in with a temporary user profile. In the last video, we have configured a roaming user profile for Active Directory user account. In case you haven't seen that last video yet, go back and watch that one first. We will continue from where we left off in the previous video. Link to the last video is given in the description area. For this demo, we have two VMs running in Oracle VM VirtualBox. We have one Windows Server 2022 domain controller for msaptivwebcast.com domain. We have one Windows 10 client VM. As you can see, the profile for our AD user account Deepak Patel is roaming and that we have configured in the last video. Before configuring mandatory profile, configure the computer settings that you want to include in the user profile. For example, you can configure settings for the desktop background, uninstall default apps, install line of business applications and so on. For testing purpose, uh, let's modify a few settings. Right click on desktop and select personalize. Click on themes. Under related settings, click on desktop icon settings. Select the checkboxes for the required desktop icons. Let me select all. Click on apply and OK. Close the settings window. Refresh the windows once. Let's select auto arrange icons. OK. Open file explorer. Click on pictures. Right click on wallpaper image and select set as desktop background. Close file explorer. I think we have made enough changes for testing purpose. Let's sign out from this Windows 10 computer. Go back to domain controller to create a mandatory user profile for this user account named Deepak Patel. This is a Windows Server 2022 domain controller. Uh, let me close everything and let's start from the beginning. Open File Explorer, access C drive and open profiles folder. Here we can see the Deepak Patel's roaming profile folder with the name deepakp.v6. Access the folder. Administrator is able to access the folder as we have configured group policy in the last video. At top bar, click on view. Now click on options, go to view tab, select show hidden files, folders and drives. Clear the hide extensions for known files checkbox. Clear the hide protected operating system files recommended checkbox. Click on Yes on Confirmation window. Click on Apply and OK. There will be one file with the name antiuser.dat. We just have to rename this file from antiuser.dat to antiuser.man. Let me rename the file from antiuser.dat to antiuser.man. Are you sure you want to change it? Click on Yes. Perfect. Let me again click on View. 
Options, go to View tab, select Do not show hidden files, folders and drives, select the checkbox and this checkbox as well. Click on Apply and OK. This user's profile is now configured mandatory profile type from roaming profile. So user won't be able to save any changes in his profile. To taste the result, let's go to our Windows 10 computer. Unlock the Windows 10 computer and sign into this Windows 10 computer using the Deepak Patel's user account and password. Open run menu, type sysdm.cpl and hit enter key. Type domain administrator's username and password because standard user is not able to access these settings. Click on advanced under user profiles, click on settings and check the user profile type. It should be mandatory as we have configured mandatory user profile for this user account named Deepak Patel. So from this we can confirm that we have successfully configured mandatory profile for our AD user account Deepak Patel. Now let's change the desktop wallpaper. Go for the personalize and from this uh, let me select this wallpaper. Okay, so we have changed the wallpaper. Let's create a shortcut to open command prompt. So we have made few changes in this user's profile like changing the desktop background and we have also created one shortcut icon to open command prompt. Let's see if user can save these changes to his profile. Let's sign out from this Windows 10 computer. Unlock the Windows 10 computer again and sign into this computer using the debug Patel's user account and password. We are in Windows 10 computer. But on desktop, we cannot see the shortcut which we have created to open command prompt and wallpaper is also not the same. User is not able to save any changes in user's profile. Whatever changes user has made, it will be totally removed. It will fall back to user's standard profile as we have configured mandatory user profile for this user account. So after seeing this, we can say that we have successfully configured mandatory user profile for our domain user account Deepak Patel. Open run menu, type uncfar ws2022-dc01.msftwebcast.com slash profile folder. Let's uh, access the user's profile folder. Click on view, click on options, go to view, select Show hidden files and folders, clear the checkbox to hide extensions and let's clear the checkbox as well. Click on apply and ok. And here we can see we have antiuser.man. Let's try to rename this from antiuser.man to antiuser.dat. Click on yes. Perfect. If user is smart enough, then he can manually rename the antiuser.man to antiuser.dat. This is the same method using which administrator has configured mandatory user profile for this user account. And using the same steps, now user is changing his profile from mandatory to roaming profile. Let's sign out from this Windows 10 computer and let's see what happens next. Let's sign in again. Remember, user has manually changed the profile type from mandatory to roaming. Let me access system.cpl for the testing purpose. Let's enter administrator's username and password to check the user profile type. Go to advance, click on settings and here we can see user's profile type is now roaming. So we can confirm that if user is smart enough to rename antiuser.man file to antiuser.dat, that means user can successfully convert his mandatory user profile to roaming profile. That's all for this video on how to create a mandatory user profile for Active Directory user account and how standard user can manually change their profile from mandatory to roaming profile. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.